Good day. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, what's today on the menu is restoring our kitchen table. These are the feet for the kitchen table. What we right now, what we'll do is uh, we'll put your some kind of liquid on. Just takes all the old paint and whatever they put on here uh, just off, and then uh, can very easily um, work it up with the uh, sandpaper. But right now, I'll probably spend about two hours if I just want to uh, take it off all with the sandpaper or even more. But just show you what kind of material I have here to work it. Uh, to take it off, it's very nice. Yeah, this is it. It's a paint varnish remover. Just uh, pour it in there and then, uh, yeah, make it ever even so it's covered the whole table and it should be move the paint very easy. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. Yes, I did not shake it. Yeah, I tried it up before. Okay. It still works the same, but it's a little bit thick. Okay, now just pour it. Sure, you got to cover it everywhere. Then take your pencil or whatever you want. I'm pretty sure if you just had a rag, work too. Put that outside. You should have enough on here. Like that you just gotta make sure you take it everywhere, just not on the floor. Yeah, you got the idea here. So finish it off and get back to you. So I covered the whole table with it. What we'll do now, just let it sit for a while. I don't know, maybe between 15 30 minutes, and then uh, just get my scraper and scrape the uh, paint off. And I got here my uh, a feed. What I'll do, I will cover it in uh, with that uh, paint remover. And then I will get my pressure washer and see if I can just wash it off instead of using my scraper. Because the feet are around, so won't uh, work very well with a scraper. So I will see if that works. So now I have my feet covered in uh, paint varnish remover, my table, and just leave it like this for a while. Go to the store, pick up some uh, actually paint. It's not paint. I don't know what you say, but it's it's uh, kind of like just a natural color. Nothing fancy. And we might, yeah, I will also buy a 
jog i think it's two liter of uh, poxy just the uh, crystal poxy put it on here so that it uh, lasts longer yeah and after i come back i will get my uh, uh, pressure washer and see if i can just wash the old paint off and then uh, we'll see how it uh, looks i'll probably have to work it all with the uh, sandpaper but uh, it should be quick it shouldn't take too long Yeah, it's not working with the pressure washer. I will have to take a little put the paint remover on here again and uh, scrape it off. I guess have to do the work. So we're now ready to scrape it off and see how it will do. Not too bad. I think there are some spots could do a little bit better, but work just fine. After I scrape it off, I will get a sandpaper and try to make it nice and smooth see how that will go That's the first time scraping it off. It's not the best job, but uh, yeah, I think where it's better if you just do a small part at a time. I'll get my sandpaper and uh, sand it. See how far I can go with sanding it, and uh, if I can sand it all off, I just be awesome. But I have to do another coat of uh, paint and stain remover and we'll do that. So my nice little Makita. See how he's doing today.
Yeah, this is how the table now looks. That's actually very nice. A bit dusty. Have to do now is lay around here. And on the side, in the front, and the feet. And uh, that will be it. I think that shouldn't take the, too long anymore. Let's get to it. So I got now one of my foot ready. Got my table all finished, nice and smooth. Just uh, need to clean with a wet towel and uh, let it dry and should be ready. So I have left is three feet. So yeah, that should be quick. Yeah, right now we are ready to do our first uh, coat of this. Oh, not very good in French. Turn it and turn it. Wood finisher, penetrating stain. Uh, go with natural. It's a two o nine. So. That's the first code here. So I got my first coat on. That's I think it looks pretty good. I don't know, maybe it's worth with flashlight on. Can see. Nice and shiny. So now we just do the feet. 
clean it and put the first coat on. Good morning! Yeah, it's the next day. It's actually already a daytime afternoon, so not anymore morning. Or we're sleeping in today, so this is the stuff we are using. And did pretty much our, uh, our first coat, just not a table, so we'll do that now. It's pretty much dry. So, do the table, and then we will wait and let everything dry, and do another coat. Yeah, I don't know how fast it will dry. I hope you can do another coat uh, in the evening. Oh yeah, got two heaters in here right now. It's 16 inside here. Outside is a little bit cooler, but yeah. Do a first coat on the table. now so I've been uh, on this for a couple days now and we did our first layer so now we will uh, take this sandpaper and just uh, sand it a little bit so that it gets nice and even right now it's a little bit rough so you can just sand it just a very tiny little bit and it's very nice and then you will put another layer but yeah hope it looks good once it's finished
more code. Uh, I think I might have uh, done a little bit too much with the sandpaper to make it smooth. Maybe it took some uh, places of the first coat. So we'll see how this turns out. If I need to do another coat, we'll do that. So this is my finished product. It looks pretty good. Everything's unfolding as it should, and I would be more grateful if I could. If the world is an image in my mind. And I can't complain about what I find Maybe I want to be taller Maybe I want to be richer But I guess when all is said and done I'm pretty happy with this picture Cause everything's unfolding as it should